Hi everyone, my name is Chris Cruz. Today I'm going to be showing you a quick tour of Oporto. You can get to Oporto through Canvas uh, using the navigation link on the side called Oporto Virtual Lab or you can go directly to fresnostate.oporto.com. Once you log in with your email credentials, you'll get this App Store. The App Store contains all the apps that are found in Oporto. Some apps are only available within the App Store and other apps are only available within the full desktop. So if you don't see it in the full desktop option, you'll see it out here at the App Store. Here, I'm going to click on Launch to open up full desktop. And you can also click on any of the other launch buttons for the specific app that you want to use. As you can see I'm logging in, I get my desktop and this environment here is the same desktop you would get in your physical computer lab with the exception that it's running in your web browser. A Porto can work on any web browser or any device that has an HTML5 compatible web browser. So that means you can use Chrome Internet Explorer, Edge, Safari, or whatever web browser that is HTML5 capable. Within here, you'll have tabs up at the top that you're accustomed to. So you still have access to your app store if you want to. And you have access to the tab of your full desktop. Within here, I'll show you some of the tools on the top toolbar area and what they do. First one right here with the four arrows going in the corners allows you to maximize your screen. This is sometimes useful if you just want to have a full window environment. Um, you can still tell that you're within the Oporto session because of the toolbar up top. Um, the icon here, the cloud that has an up arrow allows you to upload files from your local computer. Second one allows you to download files from the Aporto cloud session to your computer. The next icon allows you to save and restore snapshots. So if you wanted to make a backup of your current state and then make some changes and then maybe you don't like these changes and you want to go back uh, because you made some errors, you can actually go back and restore a snapshot as long as you created one. Next one icon here looks like a TV screen. Um, this one allows you to share your screen so this allows you to collaborate with your colleagues, other students, um, your faculty or your instructor um, to possibly get some help on an assignment. Next one is uh, a chat function, which allows you to chat with your colleagues or groups. Um, if you're working on a project together, that's very useful. Um, next one gives you stats, uh, my activity level, my total time, how many times you've used a Porto. Um, the next one allows you to adjust and control the volume of the sound that's coming from your virtual session. Over on the right side, you'll have this network icon. Um, it's the same type of icon that you would see on a cell phone. So basically, it's a network indicator that lets you know how strong or how good your connection is with a Porto. So if, if, if it's all black, that means it's full, means your connection is very good and you should have a great experience. Mind that your session is operating in a cloud, so if you do get disconnected, you can reconnect and continue where you left off. Along with your files, the files within the desktop and documents are persisted, so you can keep your files there, log off, and log back in whenever you want from whatever device you like, and continue where you left off because your files will remain there in your documents and desktop folder. Next one basically shows you the time <clears throat> and then also activity levels. 
everything else within here is the same type of are the same type of apps you would get in your computer lab so just a quick tour here I'm gonna open up Excel just like you would in the computer lab you, you do your work you can open up a file if you like you can upload work, work on a file you can also connect to your cloud drive like Google Drive and copy the files from Google Drive to your desktop or documents and work on them from there we don't recommend working directly off of Google Drive because you'll have some latency issues. Um, we recommend that you copy the files locally onto your Aporto profile. So let's say I created a spreadsheet there. I want to save. You'll notice you have two options, two locations to save, documents or desktop. You can also browse and save to a location you like. Um, let's say I want to save this to my desktop and I'll give it a title call it my test file let's say I wanted to create a new folder call it my files save it within that folder hit save close out of my Excel file and if you notice the folder I created is here as I said before your files on your desktop and your documents will be persisted meaning they'll stay there even if you log off or get disconnected and you can continue work on them whenever you want one quick note is the downloads folder where items get downloaded to that is meant for temporary storage so after you've done downloaded your file you want to copy it to your desktop or your documents and you can organize it as you normally would on a computer by creating folders and subfolders within your local profile so you're gonna get the best experience if you copy all your files onto the desktop or documents and work on them from there if you work from a network drive that will may not give you the best performance. So network drive, meaning Google Drive or Box or Dropbox, if you work directly from those um, cloud storage options, you may not get the best performance. So you want to make sure you copy your files locally, and you can treat a Porto as a virtual computer in the cloud and save your files there. And other videos, I will show you the Aporto Cloud Mounter which allows you to connect to Google Drive and other tips and tricks that will make your experience better using Aporto. Thank you.